father was the Freemason who was killed last night. I'd like you to start investigating his murder immediately. If you do find the killer, you'll receive an extra $150,000. That's the trailer for the new movie, The Freemason, starring Sean Astin from Lord of the Rings. Some of the scenery may have looked familiar because the entire movie was filmed right here in Utah. And guess what? It's going to be making its domestic debut right here in Salt Lake City tomorrow. So joining us this afternoon, we have the executive producer of the movie, Joseph James, and the director and producer, Sarab Miramont. Thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Thank it's our you. pleasure. Thank okay, you. this is very exciting. So the title of the movie sort of speaks for itself, of course, but w what is the plot of the film? Um, so The Freemason is about an investigative journalist named uh, Cyrus Rothwell. I like it already. I do too. <laughs> I liked it when I got on board. Um, so it's about this guy who gets brought on by the police to help investigate the murder of a very wealthy Freemason. And uh, he teams up with the detective, uh, which is played by Sean Astin. And uh, together they basically uh, go on this little adventure and they begin to unravel uh, these little mysteries that I think people who don't know anything about Freemasonry would probably find very interesting. Yeah, what's the history of, of the Freemasonry and the connection to Utah and filming it here? Well, we filmed it at the Salt Lake Masonic Temple, which is an incredible building, and uh, so the, the, the scenes are all authentic. We were actually able to film in the ritual rooms, and nobody really knows where Freemasonry started. I'm a Freemason myself, and it could have gone back as far as Solomon's Temple, uh, you know, to those uh, time periods, but nobody really knows for sure. Fascinating. So, of course, some familiar faces in the movie. How were you able to bring on Sean Astin, I have to ask, who actually played in Lord of the Rings? I mean, pretty big name. There's some other familiar faces, too, we'll talk about, but mm -hmm. how'd you get Sean on board? Well, that's a great question. We... <laughs> We, we had a lot of great people, and it was about three weeks before we were shooting, and we really felt strong, like Sean was the best one, but we, we couldn't, you know, get a hold of him. We didn't have any connections. I pulled every book, and we got Friday, he said yes, and Sarab and I looked at each other, and we... A pretty uh, incredible think, opportunity, considering, I mean, the name recognition sort of puts this movie for you guys, because... Totally. It's really nice to um, see the poster up at the theaters, because... I don't know if it would have been up there otherwise if we didn't have a big name like Sean in it. So it's really exciting. And to add on to how he came on uh, to the project, I think it was his daughter that finally convinced him to take on the project because she had an interest in Freemasonry. Oh, nice. Okay. And some other familiar faces, too, as, as far as local actors that we saw in, in that clip. Talk a little bit about that. I mean, everybody, I'm sure, wanted to be part of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, there's a, an iconic actor, uh, Richard Dutcher. I'm, I'm sure almost everyone in Utah knows him. And to see Richard and Sean, on the screen together. I mean, Sean is Patty Duke's, you know, son. Uh, he's been acting his whole life. Richard has been in the business for 20 years, and to see Sarab directing them was uh, was phenomenal. And I think people will will really be shocked at you know seeing that. So the debut of this movie is tomorrow in Salt Lake City. Give us all the details. Where can people watch this? What time? There are two showings. Uh, first one at 5 p.m. and uh, second one at 7:30. And in between it, there's a one-hour red carpet. So from 6:30 to 7:30, there's a red carpet that anybody can take part in if they've uh, if they're coming to the fancy. Screening. Okay, so should or get a little uh, dressed up? Or? Yeah, pe people can get dressed up. I'll be wearing a tuxedo. I don't know. I'll what... be wearing my scarf. <laughs> it's right. I like the scarf. Different I color. dig it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's open to the public as long as tickets are available. And, How much uh, are tickets? Uh, Six seventy-five. Okay, awesome! Congratulations! Mm -hmm. So good to have you guys on the show. Of course, all this information is going to be on our website, fox13now.com.